Hey, how's it going everybody? In this After Effects tutorial, we're gonna be creating this orb or this gradient sphere thing. Let's start off by creating a new solid and have it on any background color. Next, let's create a bunch of shapes. You can also use the pen tool to create some random shapes. And let's also color these in you should probably pick a color palette if you don't have this plugin called Coco Color Coworker. You should probably check out coolers.com to get a color palette for yourself and see what colors go well together. And once you've picked a few colors, you can keep duplicating the shape, change the path, and you know, add a different color. So once we have a few colors, what you need to do is turn them to 3D. Go to custom view and move these shapes away from the center. I'm just going to quickly rotate this and move it away from its default center position. I'm going to move them into all directions by rotating and moving them in different directions. The whole idea here is to have a common center point around which these shapes will be orbiting from. So. Now that we've moved all three away from the center, let's create a new null and change this to 3D and parent these shapes to the null. Now when we rotate the null, what you can see is that these shapes will be orbiting that null we just created. So this is the whole idea of what happens inside the orb. So let's select all four layers, duplicate and move it up. Select the new null and rotate it even further. And we can see that we have a few more options, uh, shapes that we can recolor. This will add more variety to what happens inside the orb. So let's go ahead and keep changing the colors here. Just gonna keep doing that. And if you want, you can duplicate these again and have a little more variety of colors going on inside the orb so I'm gonna rotate this even further in a totally different direction and I think that should do it so let's create one final null and link the others to this null that we just created and we have a common controller for rotating everything all together so we have this kind of sphere like thing with a bunch of different shapes now. Let's actually go out of the custom view and to active view, create an adjustment layer and let's add a fast box blur. Play around with the blur radius and once you've done that, you can pre-compose all of this. Select everything, pre-compose, control shift C. And now let's select the comp, select the ellipse tool to create a mask. Click and drag to create this mask for the pre-comp. And now right click and go to layer styles, add an inner glow effect. And you need to change some of the settings. Let's increase the size, change the color to white probably. And let's also reduce the opacity a little bit to sell that effect of the orb and now we have this kind of motion going on inside the orb so if you want you can go inside and probably um, scale up the null or increase the blur a little bit more to sell the effect and I'm just gonna use this um, expression here to have the orb float up and down move up and down a little bit so and that's it for this tutorial if this helped you in any way please leave a like and subscribe i'll see you on the next one bye, -bye.